welcome back to the discussion of chapter number 1 history how when and where in the previous video we talked about what is colonial means and how important are administrative records to recreate or to trace the historical events which happened in our past today we are going to discuss about surveys and other official and non official records but before we jump into today's discussion i wanted to have a quick recap of what we have learned previously previously we started our video with the what is colonial it is the british when came to conquer the country and establish their rule and subjugating the local nawabs and rajas they established control over the economy and society collected revenue to meet all their expenses bought the goods they wanted at low price produce crops they needed for the export these crops and all which they made local people uh, farm and to produce for their benefit we will discuss in the further chapters coming on to the topic we discussed last in the previous video was administration produced records it is all about that how the official records of the british administration are one of the important sources every instruction plan policy decision agreement investigation was written as british believed that the act of writing was important british had set up a record rooms att attached to all administrative institution as they felt that that all important documents and letter needed to be carefully preserved so this is all what it is about administration produces now what is the benefit of us reading them or revisiting these document which was all the planning and plotting of the british people to conquer or to control india was to understand that how they how they did it to control such a mass uh, such a vast continent like that and with uh, almost a handful of people supporting them to rule and in a foreign country in a foreign land so starting with the discussion of today's topic that is why surveys are important detailed surveys were carried out by british to map all of india and revenue surveys look the surveys were important to decide how much tax was to be collected from where it was important to do surveys so that they can know that which area is more fertile and which is not according to which they are going to set the standards of the taxation and all right and they were conducted in villages on order to know the topography and the quality of soil flora fauna and cropping patterns by the end of 19th century the british had started conducted census operation which provided information about distribution of population in different provinces caste religion and their occupation this is something which was very important from our perspective too because the surveys which were done by the britishers for the population or for the uh, knowing that how much tax should be collected from some particular region area it was important for us as we can draw the picture of we can uh, certainly have certain assumptions towards that what it was like there there then and there in the british era also these surveys which was conducted as you know have uh, you know are get, telling us about the cropping pa pattern of certain people in certain areas and also they tell us about that how the system or the structure of society was there was there at that time or in an any particular regions also the surveys such as botanical surveys zoological surveys archaeological surveys and anthropological surveys also were done to understand the topography and flora and fauna better of this particular region now coming on to the other part other than survey that is what official record do not tell us we have talked about survey we had uh, we had discussion about the administrative producers and the records which were pre preserved by the britishers in the archive but what we haven't uh, pondered upon is the official records what they lack in or or towards what they don't put some attention that we don't got to know from the official record the official records although were very detailed and easily available do not help us in knowing what other people in the country 
and the people who were not directly under the british rule felt how how did they feel about the foreign people uh, having uh, power over them or uh, showcasing their control over the native people and what were the reason behind their action to know that unofficial records are used which of course are more difficult to find as compared to the official record since the official records are well preservedly stored in the archives museums and record rooms by the britishers some non official records are personal diaries of people we sure still to, today also people maintain certain documents uh, writing and reflecting about how do they feel and what do they feel about certain action or decision made by some other person accounts of the traveler and pilgrims autobiographies of important people popular booklets newspapers and writing of reformers poets and novelist they were produced those who were literate so like i was pointing out the writing of the reformers popular booklets or the autobiography autobiography of the important people are produced only by uh, those who were literate and also from these we cannot understand how history was experienced and lived by the tribal and the peasants the worker in the mines or the poor on the street basically these on non official record were providing us the perspective of the local people but still they were lacking or we can say the limitation of this non official record is that they were not telling about the peasants not the tribal people since they cannot write it themselves who was there to write about their history so here again as official records has its limitation the non official records also have one by this i am concluding this video since it was the last topic of the chapter i hope you have understand this uh, topic today which i have taken that is of surveys and some non official records and what these official record do not tell us for your better understanding i will end the video with the slide of the important date lines but before i want you to have a recapitulation of what we have done today we have understood about why surveys are important so that we can know the population and we can tax we can set the tax standard of tax according to that that how a region how uh, how much tax should be collected from a particular region then we have learned about official records and some non official record as well and we have learned about their limitations too as i have said the important date lines that is in 1920s the company builds the national archives of india 1871 james mill publishes a massive three volume work of a history of british india 1782 james rennell makes first map of india and 1773 warren hastings become the first governor general of india